Where are they? Oh. Lusham runs into the entire team. Yeah, <laughs> Lusham kind of exposes them. And now here comes a shape shift. They're running in. He got a great magnetize off, so they do lose the air spread. He even buys back for this. The Crimson Guard made again, including damage. Eternal Emmy from the beeline for CCNC. Currently, he's not an easy kill, though. Back in pulling with the wall. And CCNC with the siphon. He's fine for now. You're Silence is up. up on top of this. A bad in Silence up. He can't heal up because of that. CCNC is going to live on the Death Prophet, it looks like. The Exit isn't wearing off, so will just heal him up. Nobody dead currently. Some way, somehow, swap plan of Braxo. We could be different here. If Adam does go down, he actually denies himself, but Sand King also falls. Forward. But Sand King also falls. Forward Gaming having the advantage right now. Look at Yawar. He's still great. He's got a Satanic use. He did use Battle Trance, but with Satanic, he ain't feeling scared. Gunner, he takes over Death Prophet, but he gets glimpsed back down off the cliff right there. And now he's being thrown in the air. That's just an urn on him, by the way. Not a Spirit Vessel currently, so he's fine for that reason, but not really. It is too much lockdown. Collapsing, and they're gonna go in. And the stuns do not this last. Is ambitious. This yeah. is ambitious. He pops Battle Trance, and see you later, Eternal Envy. Swap play, catches Earth Spirit, he's dead too. The Bash Proc's kicking in. You had mentioned something about being ambitious. Absolutely was. Vengeful to go down, but Gunnar, he too will fall because he committed. Envy, you're running into a trap, sir. Magic Missile. And now Troll's on top of him. The net comes out initially. Bashbrock as well. But Yawar's off to the left. Having a little bit of trouble figuring out what he wants to do. Snake King goes down. Meanwhile, CCC's got the Exorcism activated. But again, now Earth Spirit's being locked down by Troll. He goes down. Static Storm not really hitting much. Gunnar will waveform through. Burst down on Disruptor. And he has been morphed into the Death Prophet. And that's the borrowed time popped by Abaddon. Yawar still chasing, though. He's going to go into the face. Is under attack. A little too deep there. Pretty good fight from Team Team, to be honest. Yeah. At this point, my good does go down, but but it's not likely. Radiance top tower has fallen. Now they're gonna flank in. One last ditch effort. Why not? He sends the army in. Crimson Guard already applied the epicenter. They're gonna kill Disruptor. Yawar, He popped his ultimate though. In comes a Burl Strike stun and. Morphly is still down for 15 seconds, by the way. So Lycan lifted up. Blade Mill helps. It's not intimidating enough. Double kill for Yawar. Flyback on Lycan. Doesn't have shapeshift. As they catch a bad in, though. Trying to run. So now they're going to go for the Mega Creeps. Morphling is up. But there's the Megas. Still holding the ground. Nice job pulling them in, but... Gunnar doing what he can, almost killing CCNC, and is barely going to kill him. But now he's committed somewhat. The vacuum pullback in, the magic missile, he dodges it with the waveform. Pretty good play right there from Gunnar, but it just seems like it's going to be too little too late at this point. As now Lycan's even netted up. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? Look at those binds. Well, they're kiting away, so three are going to stay alive. But you see the bottom in the middle. Creep wave still pushing in. Thing I was wondering, maybe Timbersaw, and he actually does get the morph allies. He morphed into Timbersaw right there, but a fight breaking out in the middle lane. Doom is caught, and Kunkka ship comes through, staking goes down. Morphling goes in there with the timber chain. Now he pops a BKB. Waveform on through. He's trying to first down, but it's not going to be enough. The Fate Edict helping to keep Oracle alive. Lift up on a Timbersaw himself. Brax, now he's going to live. The False Promise keeps him alive. Yo, Wars BKB is going to be running out now. So he's lost two teammates around, including Timbersaw and Doom. And now Morphling's by himself. Can MSS maybe save the day? No, he cannot. Yo, War got too what cozy. A team fight. He's out for 75. No buyback. MSS also in trouble and is not going to escape. Triple kill. Fate's Edict, applied as he got pulled back in with the glimpse. CCNC, he didn't even go too far though. Doom jumps in, he does Doom, he jumps up the Troll. So Troll is going to start taking some damage right now. And you see how fast it's going through, he's taking some good damage. False Promise though applied as Oracle got picked off. So the Doom's going to wear off, pops a BKB, he does, it does. And he goes right into Doom himself. And they're going to get the kill on MSS who buys back immediately. But the initiation was there for forward gaming and they just didn't really uh, have the firepower. Yeah, they're just too far behind Radiance at this point. This troll is unstoppable. Glimpse. Oh, God, that's some heavy burst. He's got Satanic. 
The PKB running around. He's going to run away. Glimmer Cave provided. Colonel Envy, he's thinking about it. He's kind of going back and forth. He still has his own BKB and Satanic. Wailing Axe has popped. He is going for it. He's uh, lift up onto the Timber Saw, and he's out for 75. Doom also caught. And Envy's doomed right now, and he's still killing people. That is yeah. not a good sign. He don't care. GG's called. It's official. Game two going to Team Team, and that means we have... Curse, high ground. ready to go as well. They get the sheep off, run away with the stampede, disruption on himself. His penitentiary up over here. They're going to cut down Kunkka, so he's already out of the fight. Ix Mike, he's alive for the time being. You are still being kited. Can he finish Shadow Demon? Yes, he can, but now he's pretty far from the fight. OD's also still running away. The Laguna Blade was used right there. Not enough damage for the kill, though. MSS tanking up with that cold embrace, but finally he goes down. Gunner, Yuar's caught. avoiding Yawar, oh, gets the LSA. Yawar, no BKB at half-life. Astral Imprisonment puts him under. Can he strike to his teammates? CCC staying close. He says strike this to me, but will that matter? The Blur coming out as well. Out comes the standing knees Eclipse, but Yawar's still in trouble. The Blur, it's not enough. The double edge connects, even with missing the LSA. It didn't matter. CCNC, cold embrace, same for the time being, but triple kill for Brax. Buyback. Juggernaut killing the melee racks. Crimson Guard popped, and here we go. Brax jumping to the back lines, gets a stomp on Akanka. He's dropping fast. Omni Slash bouncing around. The save on to Winter Wyvern currently with the false promise. Allows him to get the curse off, but it doesn't They're seem like it's going to do anybody. a whole lot. Earth Spirit's taking some damage, but not nearly enough. Down goes the Winter Wyvern. He, sees, he, sees, he gets the hammer down as he falls, no buyback, but he does folks. fall. Yeah, no buyback. 110 seconds is out for Phantom Assassin. It's your time to fight. BKB's popped, but he's not really going in. He's going on the Eternal Envy. Going in, there's one stampede. The quick reaction from CCNC. Gonna be jumped though. Phoenix Nick helping a little bit. The false promise coming up. Puts himself under as well. Omni Slash was canceled pretty quickly. Eternal Envy though. Now he's looking to beat down Snake King. Snake King just running. Forty use this ship. You are the triple dagger's going out, but as soon as he jumps, Shadow Demon puts himself under, so he's not doing too much damage. Like Mike finally goes down, but quite the distraction. Three are dead on currently on the dagger side. It's gonna be a fourth as Phantom Assassin falls. She buys back immediately. Already a triple kill for Eternal Envy though. The ancient is exposed. And team team trying to go to Disneyland. They're almost there. They can feel it. Singing the songs, Odie will fall, and GG will be called. Team